How do I sell my products? How do I um, get clients? What do I post? All of these things. And to break it down very, very simply, okay? Um, marketing to me is like losing weight, okay? So since February, I've been at the gym every day. I've been doing my protein shakes. I've been doing, you know, been on the health kick. And I can tell you right now, it's the same principles, marketing your business and losing weight, okay? So let's break it down. When you lose weight, you have to make choices every day. It's not like you can eat a salad once every six months and expect this weight to come off. Um, same it is with marketing. It's a little bit every day, good choices, a strategy and a goal for you to have long-term, um, long-term clients, long-term leads, whatever the case may be, okay? So how does that work for you? So it's something that I was um, on the phone today with somebody and I was looking at her website and we were, we were chit-chatting about what is your marketing strategy? And she said, I just don't have one, okay? Um, now her, her photo, she was a photographer, her photos were, were amazing and beautiful. So obviously there was a disconnect between her work versus getting clients, okay? It has nothing to do with your equipment. Those are tools, okay? You can chop down the same tree with an ax versus a, you know, chainsaw, okay? Same tree. The tools help. The tools help to make it faster, make it quicker, make the work be more efficient, but you're gonna still chop down the same tree, okay? So having gear, good gear, having a good portfolio, having good shots, those are a part of it, but that is not the main point of how to sell a product. Hey, what is your marketing strategy? She said, I don't have one. And then she went on to say, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to find clients. And I said, well, what are your circles of community? What are your circles of influence? And for me, it's my church. It's, um, you know, sports teams. It's the why, you know, all those things that I'm already at, I'm already going to. And she said, well, my kids are in sports. I have teenagers. So in my mind, I'm thinking she just doesn't have goals in mind, knows how to sell she literally has two teenagers at home. She's literally at soccer games all the time, at baseball games, at football games, whatever. And I, I tell her, um, do you bring your camera to all these games? Do you bring um, cards to the games? Do you wear shirts? Do you wear, you know, are you promoting your business during this thing? She's like, no, I never thought about doing that. I said, you literally are walking in a gold mine of marketing. Okay, you literally live with teenagers. Teenagers have phones, they're Instagramaholics, okay? They're on their phones like eight hours a day. You get them to talk about you. You wear your shirts at games, you start passing out cards, all this stuff. Like, creative, free ways to get your name and your, your business out there. And I told her, I said, my favorite things to do, I wear my, I have like 10 business shirts, okay? I wear my shirts all the time. I'm passing out cards. I have cards in my car. I have cards in my, my camera bag. I have cards in my purse. I have cards in my diaper bag. I have cards in my husband's wallet. I mean, I'm literally like, I can get to a business card in three sentences, like no joke. I'm at the Dollar Tree the other day and I'm talking to this girl and she's like, hey, what do you do? Boom, business card, okay? Um, I see a family in the park, oh, you know, where are you guys from, blah, blah, blah. Within three sentences, I give them a car. Oh, you need family photos? You need senior photos? You need whatever. Like, boom, boom, boom. I'm just a ninja, okay? So back to this photographer, we're talking. She was like, well, maybe I'm not a good photographer because nobody's booking me. I said, no, that is absolutely not the case. You are a great photographer. Your work is amazing. You just don't know the strategies, how to market yourself. Okay, so I told her, just like we said in the beginning of the video, marketing is like losing weight. Okay, when you market, you have to think, what are my goals? What are my strategies? Um, what is my goal today? Can I sell, make one lead today? Can I get one phone call today? Can I get something? Um, just like doing health and wellness goals, it's the same deal, same thing. Okay, so I told her, I said, what are your goals? What are some feasible things? She's like, well, I'm a mom of, of two. I'm really busy, I'm in all these sports. I said, I don't have time to be finding leads and finding customers and finding all this stuff. And I said, well, do you have five minutes a day? Like you're scrolling on your phone, you know, in between whatever, on a show, watching your show at night. 
do you have five minutes to invest in your business? And she's like, yeah, I have five minutes. And I told her something really, really funny. Um, I said, everybody has five minutes at least because everybody spends time in the bathroom, okay? Like, no joke. I told her, get a whiteboard, get a calendar, put it in your bathroom so when you go do your morning constitution, you can start making some ideas, start jotting down some plans, whatever it may be. Um, you can post in, you know, during that time. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be a million sentences. It doesn't have to be this amazing thing. It can just be like two sentences, some hashtags, find me here, more about me, go to my website, boom, okay? And she's like, yeah, I think I can do five minutes a day. And I said, and she said, well, what if I don't know what to post? Like, how do I know what to do, okay? So I told her, think seven days, seven days. Okay, say Sunday, do some kind of like motivational quote. Okay, everybody likes a good Sunday motivational quote. Monday, do like an about you, okay, post, like a personal post with a picture of you or your kids or your family, whatever. And then um, maybe Tuesday, you do like a picture of your work. Um, you know, contact me here, buy my product, buy my service, whatever. Um, now we're like three days into content. Wednesday, um, you know, maybe get like a stock image on Unsplash or something like that and be like, hey, what are you guys doing on, you know, midday motivation or something, you know, midweek motivation. So there's a lot of different ways and just make a calendar for yourself. Make seven different days of like Monday I'm going to do this, Tuesday. So you don't have to think about it, okay? Um, and again, it doesn't have to be long, doesn't have to be drawn out, doesn't have to be complicated. Give me like two, three sentences, some caption, find me here, boom, posted. Now, why is it important that we're posting every single day? It's because people have a rule of seven, okay? There's a rule of seven. There's seven um, different things. People need to see you consistently seven times to buy your product, trust you, buy your service, whatever, okay? Seven times. That's like posting once a day every day. That's commitment, okay? Then it takes three months for them to make that decision. So three months ago, when you were when you were posting, you're like, oh, nobody's gonna look at my post. Now you're gonna get calls, and I know this for certain because the fall is like my busiest time as a photographer: Christmas photos, senior photos, portrait, all that stuff. Okay. Um, now three months from then is my slowest time of the year, like February, March, April. That's not that's like a very slow time for me to get, okay? Because, you know, it's cold, there's not a lot to do, um, people are just coming off at Christmas, and so that's a good time for me to start hitting the marketing stream, getting those mail outs, getting blogging together, whatever it may be, and then three months later, I start getting calls like, oh, can you do my family photos, can you do senior, whatever. So that's just true for me personally. Okay, um, some practical things to do. Let's talk about apps. Okay, for my design app, I use um, Adobe Spark. Um, some people use Canva, some people use Over, I love Over. Um, and these are all either free or cheap apps that you can use for graphic design posts, um, you know, getting images, getting stock images, those type of things, okay? Um, if you're gonna use Unsplash or Pixabay, those are also some great apps that you can grab some stock photos. Maybe your business is like women empowerment, so you can type in like women having fun, women laughing, and you can you know find images and that kind of thing. Okay, um, another app that I use is Quick, Q-U-I-K, and Quick is an app by GoPro. And it's basically an app that creates slideshows, creates video content, creates how-to videos. And you basically just tap on images, add some text, put your logo in, boom, you make a slideshow in a minute to two minutes. So every time that I'm doing a family session as a photographer, I'm doing a little slideshow on there. Or every time I post like, um, I made a logo or um, need headshots or whatever, I'm making a slideshow using that program and it is free. And what's really great and why I'm talking about video content is because people are a hundred times, a hundred times more likely to click on a service to buy a product based on a video than a photo, okay? So you need to have it in your schedule once a week going live, which is why I'm going live tonight, um, once a week 
um, having some type of slideshow, some type of video component um, to sell your product or service, okay? That is so, so key. Okay, so what have we talked about today? We talked about how marketing is like losing weight. Daily goals, consistent five minutes a day, making good choices, having a strategy for uh, your business, okay? Two, look at places around you. Look at your market, your yoga class, your classroom, your school, your work. Those are the people that trust you. Those are the people that you can um, talk to and not be like, ooh, she's trying to sell me something, okay? So use those people. Be like, hey, girl, you have your hair done? Oh, um, let me take photos of, you know, you do hair. Like, let me take photos for you. You promote me. Um, oh, girl, you do nails. Let me do so I have four or five people like that um, around Hampton Roads. I'm like, hey, you do hair, you do nails, you do makeup. Like, let's change business cards. Like, I work for you, you help me out, you promote me, you get my cards in your store. I have a cake person, I have a nail person, I have a hair person, I have a makeup person, and I have another, I have another um, bakery or church or something like that, that I have the same thing. Like, here's my business cards, put them in your store. Um, we have these partnerships, okay? Now, this goes back to my French restaurant analogy, where you, um, let's say you've seen that on Facebook for a new French restaurant, and it's really cool, and it's really hip, and they have a really cool image, or a picture, or whatever. And you're like, oh, I gotta go there, it looks nice. But if you have a friend that goes to that restaurant and reviews it, and be like, yo, you gotta go to this place, like, this is amazing, like, they have the best whatever, you're gonna go to that place, because it's from a person you trust, and from a person that is recommending it for you, okay? So how does that work with your business? You need, to make, you need to make your clients be your cheerleaders and market for you. Some practical ways, um, when you send out you know, thank you emails, be like, hey, can you tag me on Facebook? Can you tag me on Instagram with a picture of your product, with a picture of your work, talking about me? I'll give you a $5 off coupon if you do that. Oh, whatever, like, you know, um, you know, some kind of coupon code or whatever. To, to incentive, you know, give them an incentive, um, talk about my product or service for me on your Instagram platforms. And you can say that in a different way. Like, become an ambassador um, for our company, for our brand. Please review us now. So you're, you're sending people to, re as soon as they buy the product or service, you're going to review me now. Go on Facebook, go on Google, send me, you know, whatever. Um, we would love to see your photos and videos to put on our social media. So it's just creating this web of people that talk about your business, um, want to work with you, trust you, okay? Um, so we talked about how to post, when to post, a schedule, committing five minutes a day, maybe um, Sunday do this, Monday do this, have a schedule. You can recycle content, like there is no shame. Like every 30 days, I'm going and copying and pasting what I did 30 days ago with the photo and slapping it back on. There is no problem with that. If you can't come up with some creative, like I can't think of another post today, just do that. Go back to your feed from like two years ago, one year ago, a couple months ago. Nobody's gonna know and nobody's gonna care, okay? It's about posting every day, getting that uh, trust built with your clients, getting those ambassadors around you that just talk you up, um, tag you and like, hey, you gotta talk with her, you gotta talk with her, you gotta talk with her. That's how you're gonna get sales, okay? So again, this is Crystal Marshall. We're from um, Virginia Marketing and Media. If you missed the intro, we also own Virginia Photos and Films. We also own Virginia Beach Photo Booth Company and we literally are just media specialists, social media specialists. Um, we build websites, we build over 44, 44 websites, we have 14 social media clients, we are busy. And that is the number one thing that I always get questions, how do I sell my product? How do I get leads? How do I get this? And it's about little consistency every day, spending five to 10 minutes a day on social media, um, taking care of your clients, make sure they talk up for you, make sure they talk you up, make sure you build that trust, and you have that consistent work ethic, and you're going to get sales, okay? So please follow me here on Virginia Marketing and Media. I'm gonna try to go live, you know, once every couple weeks, depending on my kids, because I got three kids. Um, 
Please follow my other pages at Virginia Photos and Films and Virginia Photo Booth Company. And if you need any of those services that I just said, I would love to talk to you. Please DM me now. And peace out. Have an awesome day.